Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, I just wanted to show the uh, results of that circuit breaker under load. Now, as you see, I'm running the 994 on the tin litho rail at almost full power on a 50 watt transformer. Circuit breaker is in line. So if for any reason something should short your track, this will protect your transformer from burning out. So I'm going to short the track when it gets around this next curve. Watch this. As you see, the breaker popped and protects the transformer from burning out. It's really, really simple to do this. Almost instant. So, it's a really, really simple way to add a circuit breaker to any transformer that does not have one or a transformer that has one where the circuit breaker is no longer working and like I said I just got this uh, wired in series to the power line I'm using the magnetic lock on so this line of course is going through the breaker the other one is going directly from the transformer to the lock on so it's really really simple to do this 5 amps 28 volts DC and this is uh, originally automotive or marine and uh, it's a plug-in replacement for a fuse, as you see. And I've just soldered wires directly to the terminals, so I can use this on a uh, uh, transformer. And uh, you can mount this very likely, like I said, with a piece of double-stick tape, right to the transformer itself or someplace where it's convenient to get to on your layout. It works. It works really, really well. Let me reset this. Hard to do this with one hand, of course. All right, it's reset. We turn the power back up and the locomotive is running again, as you see. But the nice thing about this is you don't have to worry about shorting the track and burning out your transformer. This works absolutely perfectly. It only takes a minute to install it. And as you see, it isn't very big. It's about the size of a postage stamp. A bit larger than that, but not much. Turn this up a bit. So that's almost full power on a 50 watt transformer. And uh, it pops virtually instantly, as you see. So it works. It works absolutely perfectly. So I just want to do a follow up video on this. And uh, you should be able to put this on virtually any transformer and uh, protect it. Now a lot of the smaller transformers don't have circuit breakers. The early Marx transformers, 50 watts, don't have them and uh, they're unprotected. If, like I said, if you short the output you'll burn out the secondary wiring in just a matter of a minute or so. And uh, this protects the transformer so you never have to worry about shorting your track. And if your train should derail it'll pop the breaker virtually instantly because you saw as soon as the Locomotive stopped, the breaker popped. Really, really simple to do this. Really inexpensive. They're actually three bucks, two dollars and ninety-seven cents. And uh, in this case, you just uh, wire it in series to the uh, track power, and then you can mount the breaker itself any place you want. You can mount it directly on the transformer with a piece of foam mounting tape. You can mount it on the layout. You want it as close to the transformer as possible, obviously. But I just want to do a Follow-up video on adding a trance or adding a uh, circuit breaker to the Marx transformer or any transformer that doesn't have a circuit breaker protecting it. It works. It's really inexpensive. only takes a second to do it, and you never have to worry about burning out your transformer. It works. It works really, really well. So just a quick follow-up. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.